Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here. With Vigor's newest season, we've gained yet another opportunity to gaze into the lore of this game's universe. So that's what we're going to be covering in today's video. All the new lore information provided by Season 13's cassettes. So, with no more delay, let's get right into this. So Season 13's cassettes focus primarily on the history prior to the nuclear war, detailing events around the world that led up to the war going hot. The first of these that we receive in the cassettes is the Chernobyl nuclear reactor disaster. We hear about this from a radio report caught by that cassette. The next is in the second cassette, and it is the falling of the Berlin Wall, an event that resulted in the reunification of Germany and was a clear symbol of the end of the communist era. The following is the third cassette, and it is honestly of greatest importance to us. It is in this cassette that we hear about the Russian army pushing past the border into Norway, likely the first movement of the army in the war that we have seen so much of from map design. The fourth cassette followed this trend of events that made the war go hot, with two US warships being rammed by Soviets while they traveled through the Black Sea that fell within Soviet waters, with the American president, Bush, stating that there would be retaliation for this action. Also in this tape, the main character is told to prepare for a nuclear war and is given iodine, we don't know who gave him the iodine, however, if the Russians occupied his town, it is likely they knew of what was going to occur soon. It is at the end of this cassette that the nuclear Armageddon occurs and the main character retreats to their bunker. So what can we analyze from this? Well, this is where things get quite a bit confusing timelines wise. To begin, there are three wo real world events mentioned in these cassettes. One, the election of George Bush Sr., who came in as the President of the United States on January 20th, 1989. Next is the fall of the Berlin Wall, this occurred in November 9th, 1989, and finally is the Black Sea Ramming event, which occurred on February 12th, 1988. These three real world events seem to happen in a very different and honestly kind of strange order in the cassettes. The first cassette mentions the Berlin Wall falling, and then the Black Sea Ramming event happens during the presidency of a president who was not supposed to take the lead of the country for another year. So how can we fix this? Well, let's first try and get Pre Bush to be president a year early. This can be done by removing Ronald Reagan. Bush was his vice president, so if the former president died in the 1980 assassination attempt, then Bush would be his replacement. This assumes that Bush serves out Reagan's remaining years, then wins the 1984 election and remains in power until 1988. Now we fixed Cassette Four's historical hole. What about the whole Berlin Wall coming down before the ramming event? To make this possible, we need to find a point prior to 1988 where the wall could fall. The issue is this is honestly quite early, as it was only in 1989 that the Eastern Bloc truly began to break free from the Soviets. There's really, uh, honestly though, a couple of places that could have caused this to happen early, however, but none of them are really great choices. The first is the series of riots in 1987 that occurred due to David Bowie's concert next to the wall. These violent riots could have easily escalated and resulted in the walls falling, however the video in cassette really lacks any mention of violence, so it makes this possibility honestly unlikely. The next possibility is the Brandenburg Gate speech that occurred on June 12, 1987. Originally given by Ronald Reagan where he called for the wall to come down, in this timeline it may have been given by Bush instead, and perhaps this time it worked and caused the wall to actually come down. Out of the two possibilities, I really don't think the Brandenburg Gate speech could be a valid one, I think it's more likely that, strangely, David Bowie's concert was what caused the wall to fall down in this timeline. These historical halls also have one more large issue with them, and this is a lore hole. Even if we accept the chronology proposed by the logs and ignore the historical dates and presidencies, there is kind of an issue proposed by the third cassette. Soviet soldiers invaded Norway. We know this from the map war that the invasion of an independent NATO country caused a war between NATO and Soviet soldiers over Norway. Even if we accept that the North may have been a Soviet puppet, the battlefields further west display that an independent NATO-backed Norway certainly existed in its own right. Soviets sending soldiers into the state should have caused a great buildup of hostilities and map lore honestly says it caused a flat out war. Yet the cassettes do not paint this as the cause for the end, rather it paints the bumping event which in comparison is honestly far less important to the world, that's the event the cassettes choose to be the event that caused the world to be pushed over into nuclear Armageddon. I'm honestly not sure why this is the case, but either way that is how it's portrayed from my understanding. In the end, I'm just the lore guy and messenger. 
I'm not sure why this timeline works this way or what the devs plan moving forward with it, but hopefully the story addresses these holes and maybe it makes more sense as time goes by. But until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.